Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to demonstrate how to use one of these things. Uh, it is called a, what is it, a brass probe used for metal detecting. You see here, it's just a brass rod. It's kind of like a screwdriver, but it has a point on the end of it. It was brought to my attention that my last video, the Sunken Gardens Park video, where I found that gold ring, uh, I had my uh, digging knife. So according to Denver regulation, you are allowed to metal detect in the parks there. However, you're only allowed to use a screwdriver or one of these probe things. So I went down to Golden Detectors uh, in Golden and Bill, who works down there, uh, took me out to a little local park and showed me how to use one of these things. So uh, I didn't record that part. However, I should have because we spent about 10 minutes and we found a, a, a nice coin spell, found about a buck fifty within 10 minutes right there in Golden. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna show you guys how to use this probe. Uh, and if you live in an area that only allows the use of something like this, like no digging tools or anything, then hopefully this video helps you out. So you can see here on the left, this is um, 1963 or 1964. I guess 1963 looks pretty much the same anyway. Uh, this is called Garland Park. If you look at it today, it looks like this. Pretty much the same. You got the baseball field there, two baseball fields, just like you have here. And so the idea was to go down there and um, we can't dig deep in Denver because these are only good up to about three inches maximum. Uh, you'll see in the video coming up where I tried to go deeper. I actually bent this thing here. It's only brass, so, but anyway. Let's get into VR and I'll show you guys exactly where this place is. So this is pretty much where I parked, right in here, in the ball field. I kind of parked here, walked up here, turned around, came back, messed around here with the magnet, you'll see that, and then I went up along these trees, and that's pretty much all I was able to do. You'll see why, but that's it. That's all I got for this. Let's get down there and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so we're here at the ball field. Um, the one right behind me is the big one. And then on the other side of the street there, that's the small one back there. So we're gonna start out with the uh, detector. Probably going around in this ball field here. We're gonna hit up the, the outfield and stuff. Now, using the probe, we can't get down further than about three inches. So we're gonna do the best we can. I'm not expecting to find anything really old. Uh, this video is more just a demonstration on how to use the probe, um, this thing right here. And that, yes, you can, you can metal detect in Denver, but you can't use a digging tool. You can only use a screwdriver type thing, such as a probe like that. So let's get to it. I have a feeling we're gonna find a lot of stuff here like they have a dumpster right here. Why not throw it in the dumpster? Idiots. Okay, so um, since we can only dig down a few inches, I'm gonna be looking for jewelry and coins. So I'm gonna have this thing set on uh, zero pro mode. My sensitivity, I'm not gonna go any higher than four notches. Uh, and anything deeper than four inches, we're not gonna be able to dig. So here's another real shallow signal. It's like an 83, it's probably a penny. So you go around until you find it. Straight down so you don't damage the ground. There it is right there. Look at that. Oh, it's not a penny, it's, um, it's a flat bottle cap. But you see how I, I just pressed down on it and it popped out of the ground and there's no damage to the ground. It's not as hard as you think. Um, these things are pretty useful. So if you're in an area that does not allow digging tools, um, especially cities, their uh, you know their parks and recreation are pretty strict about it. In some towns like Denver, we're allowed to use a screwdriver type probe or something like that, and that's exactly what this is. So we got a target here. Low 70s. 
maybe a zinc penny about two inches down. There's something right there. So I'm going to go back behind it a bit. Get under it and pull up. All right, well this target here, it's a little deeper than I can get. I think it's probably about three inches down and I'm digging down pretty deep with the probe and I've actually bent the probe already trying to pry a thing out of there. So I'm gonna skip that one and just keep going. I think um, going in Denver parks and stuff is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a challenge for sure. Um, it's pretty much for, like I said, if there's targets that are three inches deep or less, um, they're the ones that you should go for. Uh, that one there read about three inches, but... See, that one's about four inches. I'm not even going to try it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and turn my sensitivity down another notch. Um, I'm at three bars right now. There's no use of even going for the deeper targets here. So that, that could actually speed up the hunt a little bit. See, there's some foil. I'm catching a lot of those kind of signals. But I think this has been gone over recently. I didn't find any change yet at all. A couple pull tabs, a couple bottle, flat bottle caps, that's about it. You know what, why don't we go outside and we'll try along these trees here. I like how that looks better. Even though we can't dig very deep, you never know, somebody might have sat down and had a had their lunch next to one of these trees and dropped some change. So let's head over there. So there was one signal on my way back to the, I was walking back so I can go around to those trees. It, I hit an 84 right here. It's a little deep though. If we can't, we can't. There, I think there's, I think it's right there. Let me try again. So like what you do, if you can't find it when you first go down, you gotta go out, go around until you do find it. Use your pin pointer. So it's right in that area. So go straight down with your probe. I think I touched it. So I think I spent way too much time on that target there. Um, it showed that it was only two or three inches, but I couldn't find it with this probe. Let's, uh, Stick to the original plan. We'll go around and check these trees out. Maybe we can get find a coin or two. I'll give you. I want to show you a real good example of how to use the probe. Here's a coin. It's a shallow coin here. Um, it's kind of like right off the parking lot. Where's my print pointer? There it is. We're headed to these trees here, and we're just in like a bunch of junk here. But this. Sounds good. So it's right here, so there it is right there. You get behind it, under it, and pull up. And this isn't a coin at all. This is a unit crest of some kind. Looks military to me. I'm not familiar with that unit, whoops. But that's pretty cool. See, this is where the dammits would go in my last two videos ago, or whatever it was, last video. Um, this is where you would put those dammit things on. Yeah. I wonder what else is in, around here. There's probably all kinds of stuff. I think we're going to find some decent stuff. That was right on the surface, basically. But that's how you use the probe. You go straight down, find the edge, you get under it, and you pull up and it pops it right out of the ground without leaving any damage to the ground. Let's see what we got here. All right, here's all my magnet fishing stuff. I got an idea. So this is my magnet, one of my magnets. What I wanna do is I'm finding tons of bottle caps in here, just like this. Now those are magnetic. A lot of the other trash is magnetic too. So what I want to do is 
clean this up a bit and then detect again and see if I could find anything decent. Yeah. This is going to take a while. Yeah, it was going to have to bend down. So here we are on a sunny December morning, the side of a parking lot, dragging a magnet around for a movie. Look at all this stuff. There's some nails. Look at all this. Look at this thing. It's all iron, all... <laughs> all metal. Look at that. <sighs> what do we get this time? Some iron, a little metal rod, more bottle caps. Some toy car wheels, paper clip, screw. All right, I think that's enough. I'm going to clean my magnet up a bit, and uh, we're going to detect over that area. Won't have to worry about any more bottle caps giving me false readings. I should be able to turn off iron audio even. Let's see what we could find in there. All right, let's see if that was a waste of time or not. Ground balance again. Still a ton of signals. It's a bottle cap I missed. Yeah, we got a coin. We got a penny. First coin of the day. One cent richer. So, I probably would not have been able to pick that out um, if I wouldn't have used the magnet. Also picking up foil and stuff here as I see it, but there's another decent target there. I don't feel any coins though. I'm not sure how good this would work for jewelry, such as rings, because if you, if you go poking around for rings, it's going to go right through it. A coin, it has something solid to touch. So, I mean, there's something here. Right there. But I think it's too deep for me to get. I don't want to mess up the ground too much. I mean, kind of limited. <laughs> Got to pass it up. That one's showing four inches, can't go for it. There we go. It's like a solid 80, probably a dime. It's right here. So, look, I'm pressing straight down. I'm going to take the camera off. Here's a good example. So, right here, pressing straight down. It's not moving. So, I move back a bit until I feel it go past the rim of the coin. I go straight down, pull back, go under, and lift it up. That's nah, not a coin anyway. I guess my magnet missed one. What the heck is this thing? Ooh, smells dank. Yeah, so if your target is more than three inches, don't even try for it. You're not going to get it. I just had a decent signal, it was about four inches down. I figured I would at least try for it. Now you're just gonna damage the ground. Finally, a decent signal. Ah, might be too deep. That's well, showing two inches. I think somebody, there was another metal detector here that, you see that guys, it's like, if you could tell, like just by pressing on it with a probe right here, it's loose. I think someone else tried to dig this target. 
and they left it here for some reason, so I'm not even going to try. That person was digging. They're not supposed to be. Nice solid signal, but it's probably a deep can or something. I don't know. Well, I mean, this place has been detected before. Pretty recently, too. It was, it's been detected this year. You can tell from that, that plug right there. So we're not going to waste our time any longer on this spot. Um, hopefully that demonstration of using a probe was helpful to you guys. Make sure uh, if you live in a city or place that doesn't allow digging tools, such as Denver, it says right in the, in the ordinance that you can, you're not allowed to detect using a shovel or a digger or knife even. So if you've watched my sunken gardens video, that was illegaler as frig. And that's kind of why I'm making this video today, to show you the right way to do it. And don't do it the way that I did, because I'm waiting on a phone call uh, from that video, and it's like an $80 fine. So I'm not going to take the video down. I'll take the fine. But it's a lesson learned, and I hope you guys learned something too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.